So that is the question. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle. Show that the reflex angle POR is twice angle PQR. So before we go to the solving of the questions, we have to get the underlining concepts before we get the angles. So uh, one of the things we'll do, we'll introduce a chord running from Q right through O to the other edge of the circle. It will actually just be like the diameter. So where it touches the circle, I can give it a point D. That is point D. After getting that, uh, you'll find uh, I have, when I have that code QD, QOD or QD, I can get, I'll introduce another line there, DR, and also introduce another line there, which I'll call it PD. So before we continue, there are concepts there you should get. In the previous uh, lesson, we learned that if the, the, the diameter is a chord, it forms a right angle. It subtends a right angle in each of the, the segments. So if I come on the board, I'll use chord QD, which is actually what? Chord QD is the diameter. So this angle, it is uh, subtending. Isn't it? There is an angle it subtends here. The whole of that angle. Isn't it? Angle QRD is a right angle because it is subtended by a chord QD, which is the diameter. But now, meanwhile, I'm interested in angle DRO because it is going to help me to get the reflex angle. So the first thing, I'll get angle, angle, uh, DRO, angle DRO. What is it? Because I've already told you that eh, the angle subtended by the chord QD, the angle subtended by the chord QD, which is QRD, is equal to 90 degrees. So, to get DRO, it will be equal to 90, 90 minus Y. So, I'll actually write here, 90 minus Y degrees. That is angle DRO. I'll also come and get angle angle D P O. The same thing happens. Since this one is the diameter, it subtends a right angle here. It will subtend a right angle. Similarly, angle angle D P O D P O will be equal to what? It will be equal to 90 minus X. I'll get that angle. Isn't it? It is 90 minus 90 minus X. It is right here, this angle. Minus X. So, I've now got one of the angles. And if you, you look well, this is the radius. This is the radius. Eh? So, this is an isosceles. Uh, triangle POD triangle POD is isosceles and triangle DOR is isosceles so a pair of the angles is equal so this angle is equal to that angle so having got that I have to prove by getting 
the actual value of the reflex angle. I'll go straight to getting the reflex angle P O R. So the reflex angle they are asking for P O R, it is this angle. P O R. For many who do not know, a reflex angle is greater than 180, but less than what? 360 degrees. So let's go straight to getting our reflex angle P uh, O R. If you look well at the diagram, angle P O R, that reflex angle, is the sum of two values of angles P O D and D O R. Isn't it? From the diagram, you, you look, if I have P O D and I add to R O D, I'll get the value of the reflex angle. So, reflex angle, reflex angle P O R is equal to the value of angle P O D plus the value of angle D O R. So, if you get the value of the two angles, you'll get the value of that reflex angle. So, we go back to what I told you about an isosceles triangle. Two pairs, a pair of the angles, two angles are equal in isosceles triangle. So, if I have here 90, this is a an isosceles triangle. Are we together? So this value is the same as that va value. So if I, I want to get P O D, isn't it? If I want to get P O D, uh, I'll take the sum of the angles in a triangle, which is 180, subtract the value or the sum of the two values of the isosceles triangle. So I'll start with P O D. Isn't it? I'll start with this one, P-O-D. P-O-D is equal to the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So I'll take that sum, 180 degrees, eh? subtract eh? the other pair, which is equal. So it will be this angle plus that angle, which is just simply twice, twice 90 minus x. Twice this angle subtracted from 180, I'll get POD. So I'll go straight, because huh? they are also testing if you, uh, you know how to open your brackets. If you open them wrongly, you'll... Uh, lead to uh, a wrong answer. So, if here we have 180, here we have minus, minus 2 times 90, we get minus 1A, minus 180 degrees. Minus 2 outside the bracket, multiplied by minus X, eh? you'll get a positive. A minus times a minus you get a positive. So you'll have minus 2 times minus x eh, will give you what? Positive. Positive what? 2. So if you work that, eh, 180 minus 180 is 0 plus 2x. So that gives you which value? 2x. So the value of angle POD is 2x. I have now got one of the angles. I need to work out the other angle. I need to work out angle D O R. So I'll come down here. Angle D O R is equal to. I'll go to the diagram. D. Where is D O R? You should actually see where the angle is. D O R. The second concept works. The sum of angles in 
a triangle is 180 and the other pair is equal so the working will be almost the same as uh, what happened in the other isosceles triangle so you'll get the sum which is 180 degrees eh? subtract twice eh? subtract twice eh? this is 90 minus y the other one is 90 minus y and they are equal so it will be twice eh? 90 minus y the computation will be the same again here because we still have our 180 so it comes to 180 minus 2 times 90 you get minus 180 minus 2y times minus y minus times minus positive so you get which value plus 2 Y. So the value of angle DOR is equal to what? To Y. Having got the values of the two angles, eh, and the, their sum gives the reflex angle, you'll get now angle POR, POR. Do I need, uh, you need to indicate again angle POR is equal to angle POD angle POD plus angle DOR which gives you 2x plus now that is the value of the reflex angle we are looking for its value is now 2x plus why so we have to go back and get the value of p q r so that we prove it is twice uh, the value of the reflex angle we got so to get that i have to introduce a chord in my diagram and that chord is p r so I'll introduce a chord here. Once you introduce a chord in a circle, it will cut that circle into two regions. And if you look at the regions, we have the region above here is smaller than the region below. So the smaller region acquires the name minor segment and the bigger region acquires the name major segment segment therefore from that uh, chord we get a concept that the angle subtended by that chord in the minor segment added to the angle subtended by that chord in the major segment they should give you 180 degrees they should give you 180 degrees so we, sh we should go straight to finding the value of p q r